87 system said the container would vent any escaping gases directly out of the plane. That box, he said, eliminates the possibility of a fire. Reporters were skeptical. Can you assure that the um, new battery design can eliminate absolutely no risk of fire at all? Yes, I can. One of the aspects that I am most confident in in the enclosure design is our ability to prevent ignition and to prevent combustion. Boeing's plan also mandates enhanced production and testing standards by the battery maker. Eric Stuvey, a professor of chemical engineering at the University of Washington, says the changes make sense. He adds that because we still don't know exactly what caused the battery failures, Boeing had to rethink everything. It would be nice to know what the cause is, but if you did know what the cause is, then you would be working to prevent that cause. And you might miss some other possible causes. They're taking a comprehensive approach to say, let's guard against all possible causes we can come up with. But Donald Sadaway, a professor of materials chemistry at MIT, isn't so sure. He says, well, the changes go in the right direction. They don't go far enough. I would feel better if I knew that they had an active cooling system to prevent those cells from increase in temperature to the point where ultimately they ignite. He points to just such a system on the Chevy Volt. The concepts in Boeing's redesign have already been approved by the FAA, and this week the agency gave the company the green light on a detailed testing plan. Oh the guys, company said it's already go. completed some of the tests. Most are being done in the lab. Only a single test flight is being planned. Boeing believes that barring any unanticipated problems, it can complete the test within weeks and hopes the FAA would move quickly after that. Oh, Just how soon is the 787 likely to return to the skies? Guy Norris, a senior editor at Aviation Week, says... FAA approval is just one hurdle. You've then got to go through the business of actually installing it through the fleet. So I wouldn't be surprised if you're looking at May. By then, Boeing's flagship jet will have been grounded for roughly four months. Wendy Kaufman, NPR News. This is NPR News. And support for NPR comes from NPR member stations and from Angie's List, providing reviews of local contractors, dentists, electricians, and mechanics to keep the consumer informed. More at Angie'sList.com. Linda Mood Bell Learning Centers, for nearly 30 years helping individuals learn to read and comprehend. 800 300 1818. And Vanderbilt University Medical Center, the promise of discovery, working to provide the right test for the right treatment for cancer patients at VanderbiltHealth.com. Scott Schaefer has the California Report magazine. That's ahead at 6.30. Trish Bell returns with a look at the Bay Area traffic for Friday. Berkeley accident, 80 eastbound at Ashby Avenue. Multiple vehicles have been cleared to the right shoulder, but everything is slow in the area. Benicia Bridge, left lane is blocked at 680 northbound mid-span due to luggage and debris in the left lane. Milpita slow moving traffic, 880 northbound between Calaveras and Stevenson Boulevard and in Campbell, slow traffic tonight. Highway 17 southbound between Hamilton Avenue and Highway 9. No delays on BART. All the trains are running on time. I'm Trish Bell for KQED. Thank you kindly. Her report brought to you by Hammer Mill Paper. Local underwriting provided by the Economic Development Authority of Fairfax County, Virginia. With a California office to help companies take advantage of federal contracting opportunities. Powerofideas.org. And Sutter Health's Alta Bates Summit Medical Center. Sutter Health believes good health begins with a partnership. Details available at altabatesummit.org. Sutter Health, we plus you. Funds for the California Report are provided by the California Healthcare Foundation, supporting ideas and innovations to improve health care for all Californians. On the web at chcf.org. And URS a global engineering and construction firm headquartered in San Francisco, providing engineering, construction, and technical support Last to public time. agencies and private companies. URS.com.